We're going to apply these ideas of projection to the calculation of the area of triangles. So here we have a triangle. See points A, B, and C. And we have the AB makes an angle of phi with AC, line segment. And we may calculate a projection of the vector AC on AB. Well, at least if we would know the coordinates of, of these points. So let's assume we know these coordinates. Then we can calculate the area of the triangle ABC as a half times the length of AB times the length of AC times the sinus of phi. Yeah. So AC times the sinus of phi is no more than H, the length. And the cosinus of phi is defined as the inner product of AB and AC divided by the length of AB and the length of AC. So if we have the coordinates of A, B, and C, then actually this is something we can calculate. And we may use the expression the sinus squared plus the cosinus squared is equals 1, and the fact that the sinus of phi by any angle is uh, at least 0 to calculate the expression above. Well, the second option to calculate the, the area of the triangle ABC is using the projection formula. So again, we have a half times the base of the, of the triangle AB times the length of the difference vector uh, of the projection of AC on B and AC. So we get AC minus projection AB AC. So this is the yellow vector I have indicated here. So for example, take a triangle in R2 with uh, between the points A, B, and C, and we have some coordinates A11, B23, C42. Then according to the procedures in 1 and 2, we need uh, some vectors, so the vector AB which is, uh, has coordinates 2, 1, AC, which has coordinates 3, 1, and their respective lengths. So the length of AB is the square root of 5. The length of AC is the square root of 10, which is the square root of 3 squared plus 1 squared. So in the approach in 1, we first want to calculate the cosinus of phi. But since we have the vectors given in coordinates, we may calculate the cosinus of phi, and therefore we may calculate the sinus of phi. So the cosinus of phi is, we just repeat what it, what it says here, is the inner product of AB and, is, and C divided by the length of AB, divided by the length of AC, which is no more than 7, divided by the square root of 5 times the square root of 10, which equals 7 over the square root of 50. So then we may use the formula sine squared plus the cosine squared equals 1, and show that the sine is of phi, and calculate the sine of phi as the square root of 1 minus the cosine squared. So this is square root of 1 minus 49 over 50 equals the square root of 1 over 50 is no more than 1 over 10 times the square root of 2. So now we may cal calculate the area by the formula above. It says a half times the length of AB, which is the square root of 5, times the length of AC, the square root of 10, times the sinus of phi, which is 1 over 10 times the square root of 2. And we obtain a half. So in the second one, the second way, we see that the projection, we need a projection 
of AC and AB over here. And it's calculated using the standard formula. So it's the inner product of AB and AC divided by the inner product of AB with itself times AB. So that the difference, yeah, so we get 7 over 5 times the vector to 1, which is AB. So we get a difference vector here, AC minus the projected vector. It's just 1 over 5 minus 2 over 5. So we use this in the formula over here, so that we get the area triangle ABC is a half times its base, it's the length of AB, the square root of 5 times the length of the vector 1 over 5 minus 2 over 5, which equals a half times the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 divided by 5, which again equals a half.